join my challenge. What is it? We would like to donate even a small amount on a daily basis to causes that you will choose. And inshallah, we will spend those 10 days in so many different acts of worship. One of them will be to donate a simple charity. Visit muftimenk.com. Assalamu alaikum. My brothers and sisters, when speaking to your parents, speak with kindness and utmost respect, even if you disagree with them. So, agreeing and disagreeing is one thing. If they have said something against the pleasure of Allah or something that is wrong, it doesn't mean that because that's your mother, that you need to agree with what is wrong. It doesn't mean that you don't serve justice against your own father or mother. That's not called being obedient or kind to your folks or to your parents. But when you are speaking to your mom or dad, make sure that you speak with utmost respect, with a kind tone. And that's why Allah says, فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفْ Don't say to any one of them, uff, because it's a tone and it's a word of disrespect. So many people are suffering and make others suffer because they believe heaven lies under the feet of our mothers to the degree that even if they are wrong, we should side with them. No, no, no. You don't side with one or both of your parents when they are wrong, but you kindly and respectfully disagree or correct them or even serve justice against them if need be. This is proven by Ibrahim alayhi salam and by so many others where the parents, Allah Almighty makes mention of it in the Quran, وَإِن جَاهَدَاكَ عَلَىٰ أَن تُشْرِكَ بِي مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٍ If they are trying hard that you worship someone besides Allah or you do something against the instruction of Allah as well, Allah says, don't obey them in that. Don't obey them. But what do you do? Sahibuhuma fi dunya ma'rufa. You be a companion of theirs in this world in goodness, with kindness, utmost respect. So you have no excuse when it comes to swearing or being unkind or disrespectful. There's no excuse. You should not do that. That's not acceptable under any circumstance. But don't allow your parents to trample over others, be it your spouse, be it your children, other siblings, be it anyone else, be it those who are working with you, them or for them or whoever else it may be. Don't allow injustices claiming that that's my father or that's my mother. Many people don't mind. They say, look, that's my mother. That's it. I can't say anything. That's it. And in the meantime, she is doing things or she may be doing things that are totally out of sync with what Allah has instructed or completely forbidden haram. She has stepped the mark. She has overstepped, should I say. You cannot claim that because Allah has given her such a high status, she has the liberty to do whatever she wishes. That's wrong. That is wrong. Come on, come on. Subhanallah. Logically, it's wrong. And Islamically, it's wrong. And according to the instruction of Allah, it is wrong. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu kunu qawwamina bil qisti shuhada'a lillahi walaw ala anfusikum awil walidain wal aqrabin. O oh, oh, people. Or you who believe, stand firm for justice for the sake of Allah, even if it is against yourselves or any one of your parents, or both of them, your parents. Stand firm against them for the sake of Allah, for justice. That's what Allah says in the Quran. So who knows better? Does Allah know better or do you think, no, 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 it's a status. This man doesn't know what he's talking about. No. I told you, respect and kindness by all means. But you don't allow injustices. Sometimes criminal activity, sometimes bad behavior, sometimes outright sin, major or minor. That doesn't mean just because it's my father, I, I need to condone it. I don't. I need to stand up, especially if there's a third party involved whom I need to protect or at least be just and witness for them. May Allah Almighty grant us strength. It's a powerful message this evening and it's balanced. We love our parents and we will always respect them and we will always be kind to them, be they Muslim or not, be they obedient or not, be they whatever, because they're our parents. Allah's given them a status indeed. But that status, Allah's status is above theirs. 
and the truth and justice is way above theirs. May Allah Almighty grant us ease and goodness and a deep understanding and the ability to practice upon it, for indeed it requires strong faith in Allah for one to be able to fulfill this aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.